Dear viewers, welcome back to, to my channel, Food and Learning. Uh, as I expect that you might have seen my previous video about uh, chicken curry and broth with potatoes. And this time I'm going to introduce another important and very delicious dish for you that is about chickpeas. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you could be notified about the beautiful and interesting videos about food. Burner. So keep it uh, on a low flame. So I'm going to switch on the burner in front of you like this. So keep it on low flame, and after that, you have to use first of all this oil. You keep half cup of oil inside that pan. So check it out. I'm going to put this one uh, oil inside the pan. So half cup. You can use this is half cup enough and now I want to tell you about the second stage that is about spices that we have to fry inside the soil. So these are some of the spices which I have uh, put into the page. So we have some um, you know uh, black pepper, we have black pepper, some few holes, not we don't have to use the powder, rather whole seeds we have to use. And then we have fennel seeds. These fennel seeds are also very important, and we have to fry them. And then we have, you know, this, uh, um, you know, another spice which is uh, like uh, uh, hot spice. And uh, then we have another different type of uh, hot spice here. So these are, and we have the cloves also. We have the cloves. So we don't have to use many pieces of cloves. It's only little pieces of cloves. So all these ingredients we are going to fry inside the oil. So we will put them one by one into the oil and fry them. Let's have a plan. Okay, welcome back after the short break. Dear viewers, as I said before that we have to fry these spices which I made earlier into the, into the oil. So let's uh, start it. So these are cloth pieces we have to put inside the oil. And then we have, uh, you know, this uh, black uh, pepper, uh, whole, not the powder. So whole seeds we have to put inside also. And then we have fennel seeds. These fennel seeds also we have to put inside. And then we have, you know, another type of uh, seeds also. This is also kind of fennel seeds, but different types from different country. So we can also put inside. Either you want to use, you prefer to use, it's okay if you want to use only the fennel seeds which are available traditionally in your traditional markets. So that is okay also. So this is a, a spice, another spice also. This is good for like hot spice from another country. So you can also put that inside. And this is the hot spice also which is traditionally available. So we can also use that. So a little quantity only you have to use. Okay, after mixing, after putting all this, we have to mix them so in the oil until they are fried properly. So stir it properly, continue to mix it until they are a little bit fried. So you see the color, they are mixing up and the color is getting better also. So once a little bit brown color, so now Give it a, I think, three to five uh, seconds. Three to five seconds are enough to fry them here. Okay. So after these three to four minutes, we have to mix inside this um, the paste. I have already prepared the paste. This is the paste which I have already prepared. That is the paste of the onion and the garlic. So I have already changed into paste in the grinder. You can also use grinder to paste the onion and the garlic together. So I'm going to put this paste, which I have prepared, as I said, in the grinder. So as I said that, uh, you know, you can uh, make this paste in the grinder. If you don't know how to make the paste in the grinder, in my next video, I will tell you step-by-step -step method 
how to change the garlic and you know this onion into a paste in the in the grinder so for the time being i have already prepared so i will put this paste of garlic and onion inside this and mix it properly the sizzling sound is coming so now you see the sizzling sound bubbling sound it was really nice to hear so mix it for say uh, three to four minutes three to four minutes we have to give and we will go on a short break three to four minutes you have to uh, fry it and uh, let's go for a short break welcome back dear viewers after the short break now as i said earlier that we have already made a paste and we fried it in the oil so as you can see now it is uh, brown so now it is ready to that we can we can put other ingredients and spices inside now so one by one we will put other spices now it is ready so let's put other spices uh, we have very common spices which are available at home for example we have turmeric powder so we have kashmiri chilies red chilies so these are very beautiful the color will be red and we have the salt so these spices we have to mix according the uh, according to the taste according to our choice so first of all we'll put this um, uh, turmeric powder so half spoon is okay half spoon and then uh, we have to mix this uh, red kashmiri chilies so this will give a very good aura and color so you can it also depends on your choice what kind of uh, if you eat spicy food you can put accordingly so i will put this uh, say uh, one and half a little more i can make it's okay one and a half spoon and then next one is salt so you can mix the salt um, a bit of that like uh, two or three pinches and later on we can feel that if we have less uh, quantity we can mix it later also but if once it is uh, much if you have put much uh, you know salt it will be difficult now we have to mix all these spices so they are equally balanced into this uh, paste so after mixing all these spices stir them nicely so that they are equally uh, mixed together now after mixing all this we will uh, uh, keep them uh, under the lid for one to two minutes keep them under the lid for one to two minutes once again we'll go for a short break we will come back uh, after the short break. Welcome back dear viewers, so earlier I told you that we have prepared this uh, whole paste with spices, so now you see it is ready, so oh, the spices are very beautifully merged and it is looking very nice also, beautiful, amazing paste, now this paste is ready, that we have to mix the next uh, ingredient, that as I discussed with you, that next ingredient is the chickpeas. So these chickpeas I had already uh, three to four hours before. I put them in the, into the water. I soak them nicely. So what is the objective of soaking them into the water? Because they become soft. So now you see they're a little bit soft. So we have to put them. If you feel that they are a little hard still, because we need to put them or soak them in water for more than three to four hours before cooking. But uh, if you think that it's not like that, then you have to put them into the pressure cooker and, and give them pressure. So in that way it will be prepared. So now we have to uh, put all this, uh, this water inside we have to remove. So I have drained the water a bit of that and now I am going to put all these chickpeas inside this paste. So we can put all this inside. And then you can mix them also, mix them nicely in the paste. Okay. 
Okay. Now you have to after mixing them a uh, little bit more because you have to make uh, a broth out of it because when they will be in final product finally they will be cooked they will absorb water these chickpeas will absorb water into them so there will be less quantity of liquid so we have to put more liquid means water so means uh, one one and half one and a half almost uh, glass of water you can mix inside and then you have to give them time uh, it is I am cooking already in the pressure cooker so I will mix after that so after mixing like this you have to serve continuously for some time so they are mixed together and the gravy you see this gravy is very thick now so if you feel you can pour a little more water because uh, in the process of cooking uh, most of the chickpeas will absorb most of the water here so I think that we can put more water here uh, half glass or one glass more so one glass more water I have mixed inside and then stir it once again and after mixing and stirring them properly and effectively you have to close the lid of your pressure cooker and give it at least 20 to 25 minutes so at least 20 to 25 minutes you have to close the lid and wait for the whistle of whistle of the pressure cooker and uh, whistle of the pressure cooker means uh, when you will hear the sound of the whistle of the pressure cooker then you have to start counting the time up to 20 or 25 minutes we will have a short break now and we will meet you after the short break Welcome back after the short break. So, you know, before that break, we were talking about giving 20 minutes. So, 20 minutes are completed. Now, we will open it and uh, be careful. And you release the pressure from here on both sides. And then we will open it and dish out. And this is the final stage in which chickpeas are prepared with broth and it will look to be very nice be careful you can keep away from because uh, the you know vacuum is created already there and the steam will come up now you can see this that it is all prepared very beautifully mixed inside and these are also chickpeas are also properly cooked and boiled so all the spices that we mixed inside they are also proper now we will dish out we will close the uh, banner we we'll switch off the banner now and now we will you see this is the final product now we will dish out now we are going to dish out them so first we will see the quantity here we dish out nicely slowly and gradually so this we have already dished out and we can add more and the remaining we can we have dished out here right now this is properly cooked now we can garnish it with the uh, you know onion cut in round shape so we can garnish it nicely it looks nice so you will feel it is really very tasty food and you can eat it with uh, bread homemade uh, bread you can make by yourself or you can buy it from the market and you can uh, eat it it will be very delicious Get together all the family members red chilies also uh, green chilies also you can garnish with so in this way you can enjoy the food so you can also use a bit of uh, mint leaves in order to garnish it nicely so one or two is okay or we can put this one not this one two three leaves we can so it will look nice so that was the end of today's dish and hope so you might have liked it it will be very delicious and you just try it and then you can give comments in the comment box and in this way you can get together and enjoy the food see you once again 
in another video don't forget to subscribe my channel food and learning and in this way you will be updated and notified with the latest uploaded videos enjoy yourself and have a great time